Hi everyone, uh, thank you for joining me and listening to me to introduce the uh, widely used uh, tool of Terraform. Uh, firstly, I will introduce myself. My name is Zhen Chen and I uh, work for Huawei. <coughs> uh, I'm uh, an president, I'm working on uh, Terraform. Uh, if you're the first time to uh, know the Terraform, the first question may be, uh, what's it? Uh, it's not very uh, mysterious, it's just a tool. What can Terraform do? The most obviously uh, character of Terraform is that it can manage uh, multiple clouds at the same time. You can create any virtual machines um, and other uh, resources at the same time. Think of the scenario that you create 100 virtual machines on two clouds uh, at the same time, it should be a nightmare uh, if you create it uh, manually. But uh, for Terraform, it's not. Why can Terraform uh, ma um, manage multiple clouds? The secret is the provider. The provider uh, is works as an adapter that will receive the command from Terraform and uh, send the request to the uh, cloud through the REST API. Terraform uses a configure file to uh, manage the clouds. Uh, so what does the configure file looks like? Now I will show you an example that will create one virtual machine on two different clouds respectively. There are four steps. The first, we will prepare the Terraform and the cloud providers. Second, I will prepare the configure file. Uh, third, I will run Terraform. And last, we will check the result. Now I will... I will, I will, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I, I need uh, my, my <laughs> I need uh, my configure file. Uh, I'm, I need my con configure to run my, run my demo. <laughs> I, I need my computer to run my demo. Oh. Uh, so uh, I, I can last, I can last run my demo. So uh, I, I, I first uh, introduce my PowerPoint, sorry. Uh, um, I will, uh, now I will introduce how to develop a provider. Uh, before you develop a provider, you should uh, see, uh, uh, access this website to see uh, what, what uh, uh, if your provider uh, is, on, is in the official. Um, and uh, you can access the web, uh, GitHub to find the uh, provider. And last, uh, I, um, and, uh, the main work for develop a provider is develop the resource plugin. You can uh, take this, take a look at what does the resource plugin looks like. Yeah. That's about to Oh, shit. Change. Okay. okay. Change the way. I forgot what that's on. I don't need any. Don't need any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to drag it over to the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Come down. We need to make it the same, right? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I don't know where it went. Where did it go? Second. So oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, what do you want? You want this one here?
uh, I'm very sorry. Uh, for resource plugin, uh, it's not uh, very complicated. It's just a method uh, that, uh, that <coughs> need a resource uh, instance, an uh, instance of resource that, that was defined in the telephone. And um, in, this, in this method, uh, <coughs> it um, define, first it defines the uh, four methods that uh, for the uh, CRUD for the resource. And uh, if you want to import the uh, an ex uh, existence resource, you should uh, spe specify the importer. And the second, and third, you should uh, uh, specify the timeout for the CRUD uh, operations. And the last and important one is uh, you should specify the schema for the uh, resources for this resource, like size, number, name, and other parameters. And the last, you should uh, implement CRUD CRUD method. CRUD method. Uh, this is a simple introduction for the source plugin. And you uh, have you have done the uh, developing for the source plugin. You can compile and test it. Just uh, run the uh, make build or go install and uh, write a config file and run the telephone to test it. And now I will continue to introduce how to uh, 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 this example. Um, in this example, uh, the first step is prepare for the telephone and the providers. I will use two U providers. The, the first one is the Flex Engine. This is the cloud uh, uh, for the uh, Flex Engine. And this is another uh, provider uh, for the Open, Tele Open Telecom Cloud. And now I, I would show you how what's the, what's the instance uh, config file looks like. Uh, there are four sections in this uh, config file. The first section, the first, the, f the first section is the provider, and its type is Open Telecom Cloud. Uh, the following parameter is used for or authentications when, and the second is a resource and defined a computer instance, and its name is VM. And these parameters will be used in the creation of virtual machines. The third section is for another cloud, that is the flash engine. And the last section is another a resource that will be created in the Flash Engine Cloud. <laughs> now I will run it. I will, I will run it. First, I will run Telephone Initiate and uh, we will run Telephone Apply. Yeah, it. Uh, It shows I will create two two virtual machines. Oh, sorry, I can't show you. This is for the Open uh, uh, Flex Engine, and this is for the Open Telecom Cloud. And I will type this. It will run. It will spend some time to finish the, this work. Uh, if, uh, maybe we, we should uh, wait uh, two minutes. So uh, uh, if you want to interest, uh, I will show you next, uh, because I have, I have <laughs> used too much time. Sorry. Yeah, I, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you.